Hey, C. Fox, this is Jeremy for Sip and Spin. Uh, we're down here at Granville Island Brewing. We're going to hang out with Mike, and we'll try to beat this lineup and uh, get inside and have a beer. Let's go. Uh, okay, so Mike, the Granville Island tasting room and brewery is on Granville Island. How long have you guys been here? We have been here since 1984. This is our original location when we started off. Uh, so we've been here for quite a while. What are you guys brewing here on Granville Island? So on site here, we're brewing uh, smaller limited releases. So we've actually got three that we're now doing year round. We do a lot of seasonal one-off beers. We've also got these. We are getting a little bit of work done. It is, uh, it is an older building, so uh, always, always renovating. That's awesome. <laughs> we've got these staples here now. Uh, so we've got our West Coast Pale Ale. Uh, we've got our Pacific Northwest Porter and a SoCal style IPA. So it's kind of like a place where if you're on Granville Island, you're visiting, or maybe you got people coming to Vancouver to hang out, you can come to Granville Island Brewery and hang out in the tasting room, For sure. have a beer, have some food, cold beer and wine store, it's all here happening. It definitely is. We do regular tours every day. So through the summer, we do five tours a day. Through the fall and winter, we're doing three tours a day. Uh, we've got a beautiful glass-walled brewery here, so you can watch our, our brewmaster, uh, Kevin, and uh, our lead brewer, Mac, hard at work. We've got food, we've got beer. And uh, yeah, this is really our, our test kitchen where we're, we're trying out a whole bunch of different stuff. Captain Scotty was telling me that uh, you guys do something that's different than a growler. He called it a growler. Yes, it's a it's a can growler. So same same fill you would do on a growler, but it gets sealed up in a can instead. Okay, so it's like it looks like a giant, almost like a fist of a. Oh, there we go. Like so. <laughs> so one liter can, uh, nice and sealed up. So if you take it to a party, you don't have to worry about bringing your gra gra glass growler home with you. Yeah. Uh, you can just recycle this bad boy and uh, enjoy your day. What makes a SoCal style IPA a SoCal style? So this was actually inspired by our, our brewer's trip down to uh, Southern California a few years ago, down in the San Diego area. So they're known for, for quite boozy IPAs, uh, nice orange color, a uh, lot of rich, punchy flavors. So he sort of styled this after that. All right, that's how they do it in San Diego, boozy style IPAs. Uh, a little bit so, yeah. Yeah, like you said, uh, what was the word, punchy flavor? Punchy, yeah. A lot of flavor. You a lot of fruity. Yeah. A lot of fruity aromatics, a lot of fruity flavors, a little bit tropical, a little bit of that orange citrus, but uh, nice, nice little bit of booze to, to balance it out. <laughs> And Mike, if people aren't feeling uh, a punchy flavored, boozy San Diego style IPA, what else are you guys tasting here at Granville right now? Uh, right now we've got our West Coast Pale Ale. So nice classic West Coast style uh, Pale Ale. So nice little bit of hops in there, bringing in a little bit of that uh, floral and citrus character, but not too over the top. Nicely balanced out with a bit of malt. Or we've also got on the darker side, our Pacific Northwest Porter. So Porter's originated in the UK as a bit of a darker, richer style, not that much hop going on. And then obviously, a fair bit of hop in here which bounces out with those rich, roasty flavors. So you get a bit of dark, roasty, almost licorice-like flavors, then a little bit of floral uh, hop flavors as well. All right, thank you, Mike, at uh, Granville Island Brewing on Granville Island.